One local family hosted bipartisan congressional and state leaders as they toured a farm near Mapleton. The informal get-together focused on discussing the importance and changes in agriculture, including how the looming farm bill could affect future practices. Kendall Larson reports. At Finstad, the Environmental Defense Fund, and local farmers all gathered at Highland Family Farms to discuss recent developments in agriculture, but also the bill on every farmer's mind, the federal farm bill. The farm bill impacts agriculture, from which crops are insured, all the way to healthy food access for families. Congress passes one every five years, and the latest bill was supposed to pass in 2023. It's my hope that we can get serious about, you know, the next few weeks and, and get the Senate to kind of wake up to the, the fact that we need to we need to start talking and we need to start uh, seeing what their proposals are. The discussion on the farm bill touched on conservation efforts such as experimenting with cover crops. And to know that the first time it may not work, but if you continue to do it, uh, you may have a, an opportunity to make major advancements in your conservation and your soil and the water. Christian and Pat Duncanson work closely with the Environmental Defense Fund, a nonprofit for climate change efforts, to learn more about best practices for conservation of their land. There's a lot of technology and things that we know now, research, that we didn't when we first started farming that have helped us do that. As part of the Inflation Reduction Act from 2022, the USDA received roughly $20 million to use towards popular conservation programs. We would love to see Congress bring that additional funding into the permanent baseline of the Farm Bill to really uh, expand opportunities for farmers to participate in these programs. Conservation is one part of the Farm Bill, and farmers such as the Duncansons hope to see it become a bigger part of the conversation. In Mapleton, Kendall Larson, KYC News Now.